This tutorial explains how to append multiple pandas data frames in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this tutorial, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frames that we can create with lines two to 20 of the code. So in line two of the code, I'm first importing the pandas library. So if you run this line of code, we can use the functions of the pandas library, as you can see in the following part of the code. And then in lines four to seven, I'm creating a first pandas data frame. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right that a new data set is appearing, which is called data one. And we can print this data set to the bottom right by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that our first data frame contains four rows and four columns which are called x1, x2, x3, and x4. Then in the next step in lines 10 to 13, we can create another data set, which is called data2. And we can also print this data set to the bottom right. And then you can see that this data set contains the same column names, but different values. And last but not least, we can create a third data frame, as you can see in lines 16 to 19 of the code and we can print this data set to the bottom right as well by running line 20. And then you can see that once again, this data set contains the columns x1, x2, x3, and x4, but different values than the other two data frames. Now, if we want to append these three data frames vertically, we can use the concat function, as you can see in lines 22 to 24 of the code. And within the concat function, we need to specify the names of our three data sets. So in this case, data one, data two, and data three. Then I'm also using the ignore index argument and I'm setting this argument to be equal to true because I want to create a new index in the combined data set. And I'm also using the sort argument and I'm setting this argument to be equal to false because I want to keep the original ordering of our columns. So if you run lines 22 to 24 of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data all three. And we can print this data set to the bottom right by running line 25. And then you can see that we have created a new data frame, which contains all the values of our three input data frames, data one, data two, and data three. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.